Betty. Big scrapbook that I picked up from Kmart. I don't think it's that bad. Flooded house. I finished losing hope. Oh, I like it. It's time to feed Luna. Wow, it's really chocolatey. <laughs> Just, I'm so grateful. Oh my god, it's such a short book. Ooh. Okay, gotta go. This is phenomenal. I love being in crash. Show you where to go. Good afternoon everybody, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new week in my life. This week is a very exciting week. It's currently Monday at the moment and Thursday morning I am heading off to Christchurch to celebrate my sister's birthday on Sunday, which I'm so excited. We've got lots of fun, exciting things planned, which the thing that she wants to do for her birthday is just, I don't know if I would have normally done it if she hadn't said it was for her birthday. I've parked far too close to that pool, so I just need to back out. And I needed to reverse it because otherwise I don't know if it was gonna pop. I just about left the dog in there. Come on. It's a very, very beautiful day today. It just has made me want to do absolutely nothing now that I've finished work. My house will probably take 20 to 30 minutes max too clean. I just need to put a few clothes away, make the bed, put a few dishes away. Like that is it. I wanted to start the vlog because I'm super excited about this week. It just felt like I needed to hold myself accountable. I'm not even allowing myself to read Losing Hope. I really, really, really want to read it because I'm almost finished. Like I'm halfway through this book. I just know that the good bits are coming up and so I'm like, I need to read it. But I'm not allowed to read any more of that book until my house is clean this is staying here this is the same put so much mess whitney all i need to do is make my damn bed and clean up the little bit uh, it's so hot in my house i'm overheating i also am wearing this dress and i either have gotten taller or i just really liked short dresses when i started buying dresses because you can see my ass and it's so bad but i love just feeling like i've got nothing on and this is exactly what this feels like will i keep wearing it probably i am going bowling tonight so as much as i'd love to wear this i probably can't so I probably would have to wear something else. Let's go. I don't want to admit how long it took me to clean, but I can finally read. It is currently lunchtime. I have laid myself out a very, very good lunchtime activity. I have got my book over here because I didn't realize I was zoomed in, but I'm addicted to this book. I love it way more than Hopeless. I'll be very, very keen to read it. I also have my scrapbook. This is how much photos I printed out yesterday, guys. Pretty much 50 of them are for my scrapbook for just January. So I'm so excited. I've got this big scrapbook that I picked up from Kmart yesterday. I also have a Kmart haul that I'll share with you guys. I have got like little bits and bobs that I can cut out and put into them to like almost have receipts. <laughs> I just love the idea of it. I really, really wanted to make 2024 kind of a year that is my best year yet, but I've scrapbooked it that I can look back at every single thing. The 30th today. So I felt like it was just fitting, but we went bowling yesterday, so I want to add that to my scrapbook, but I don't have any photos like printed out. And then tonight I'm going out for dinner and going to make Pilates and stuff. So it's still a very full January left that I will add to my scrapbook when I get all of the stuff. I got it last night, but I was just so tired after bowling. We didn't get home until like 9.30 and then I had a shower and just went to bed. Excited to get this done. Obviously, I've got a short amount of time to do it in my lunch break and then I can do it when I get home, but I also want to pack because I got to crush it on Thursday. Also made eggs, which I have been very slacking at making myself anything. Yesterday, all I had was that shake out and I don't even know what time that was. I think it was around 7.30, 8 Pretty much had chocolate the whole day yesterday, so I am very proud of myself for making myself some food. Cannot wait to get into the scrapbooking and reading as well. <laughs>
out the scrapbook mess. I have only done a couple of pages. I have to go back to work and work has been super, super busy today. But I'm just about to head out. I have Pilates tonight. This is what I'm wearing. I've got some Lorna Jane tights on with my Nikes. Just this navy singlet that I've like made into a crop top. <laughs> but that is soon. I'm just heading out to go see my Nana before I go. And then I'm having dinner with Elise tonight as well. So we're going to a restaurant here, um, which I'm super excited to see her. And then I'll come home and I will continue with my scrapbooking and I will pack. But there's so much to do tonight. So little time. Everything happens for a reason. They did different exercises today, but I actually really enjoyed it and I don't feel too bad. But I'm just about to have dinner with my friends so i'm excited it's a little while later i'm back from dinner i had a really good time with my friends this is one of the tops that i brought yesterday from kmart but look how cool this outfit is this effort is just outfitless outfit this i just mucked that up didn't i i love it this is going to be my airport outfit for thursday and for monday when i come back home i love it's just so nice so casual but like tied at the top bottom at the bottoms we love to see it outfit one done i am going to continue choosing my outfits trying them on i want to take as little as i can but i'm just obsessed with this outfit what the heck i'm gonna wear the shit out of this i have so much stuff to do tonight like edit this video and stuff just so that i'm not stressed out when i get back next week because i want to have it up monday night for you guys so i'm going to just try on some outfits and then i'm not going to pack it until tomorrow so i'll show you the outfits tomorrow but i just kind of want to try them on now while i'm in the mood to try things on yay all i'm going to be doing tonight is trying on outfits and then editing i'll talk to you guys tomorrow good morning i'm currently taking luna for a walk just a short walk because i woke up late it's not late like i'm not late to do anything or go to work or anything I'm just late to do all the things that I want to do in the morning. I also didn't put the harness on Luna and she's going like absolutely wild and like choking herself just because she's obviously super excited. That's why I like her wearing the harness, but it's going for a quick daily stroll while she's pulling my arm off. We just came back from our super short walk, but honestly, it was getting hot out there. This is one of the things that I got from Kmart, um, which I love, but it's also such a warm, material is really good for the winter but obviously i wanted it to kind of lounge around and just whenever but like sometimes it gets a bit too hot but i think it's cool i love it and then there was another one that was blue and it had new york written on it i thought that was super cute as well it's time to feed luna she is not a puppy anymore and i have been paying her puppy food i think it was last week's vlog maybe the week before when i put up the poll and i was like oh there was like this bag of treats and she ate them all well it was actually dog food and it was this brand and this flavor i knew that i had to switch her from puppy to adult at some stage got her this one because obviously she ate it all so she must have liked it so it's fish and potato and it's apparently really really good for you good brand very expensive considering how much i paid for this the price range is very significant between the two i have to transition her into this food i'm gonna work that out hopefully her breath doesn't start to smell like fish because that wouldn't be ideal but this has got so much stuff and it. it's got oats it's got rice it's got emu oil blueberries and cranberry it's got peppermint egg carrots potato and obviously fish that's really cool she can only have up to a half a cup interesting yeah i might give her a half because she's between five to ten i also feed my dog just whenever she chooses to feed herself like she just nibbles i don't um feed her at a set time during the day i just feed her i'm gonna transition and then go to work i'm so close to losing hope that i need to see if i can get the third book i don't want to take a book with me i also need to finish the series as soon as i can i definitely know it's like one of my goals tonight is to finish it i'm so so close i couldn't sleep at all last night i spent a little while trying to like fall asleep reading from reading the book um so i'm almost finished so i'm just gonna have a look to see if i can get the book on my ipad it's called finding Cellaret. so finding cinderella which i'm excited to read i'm interested to see if it relates to any of like what i'm already like reading because how can i don't understand how she can make a series five books so it's very interesting to see if they're like the same characters and whatnot and if i like it oh my god why can't i spell cinderella even though i'm literally reading this is what it looks like i had literally you in the perfect spot just before and now you've fallen down oh i'm so excited if i can, if i get this means that i can read it on the plane Oh my god, it's such a short book. I got it, so now I can finish Losing Hope and know that I have a book to read. There's a little sneak peek.
of another book, the Slammed series, which I think I have in my iPad. That's it. I've finished losing hope. I'm like, do I go and read Find Cinderella right now? I don't even know if I can give you a book review because obviously it's essentially from the boy's perspective carrying on from Hopeless and kind of like his, you know, his understanding of it and the way he thinks about everything that kind of went down. But what I noticed is that there were some chapters, which is to be expected because you don't want literally losing hope to be the exact same just from his perspective so there are different chapters and the like he writes letters and it's just so beautiful i actually love hearing from the guy's perspective obviously because i'm female you know i know how a lot of other girls probably are feeling or react so it's interesting to hear from a guy's perspective obviously it's written from a female but it's just so cool i love it um i love him <laughs> i love them actually together together and separate like it's just awesome can't wait to read the next three books i don't know if i'm going to read slammed the like little chapter until i finish the other three books but i'm glad that i finished it and i finished it right before february as well so that means i have completed four books and my goal was two books Books every month so I'm very proud of myself always a race against time trying to leave when Luna is in the house and she's not and I'm not taking her with me she knows and she gets all antsy gotta get her a treat currently lunchtime I just had to like down some food because I hadn't eaten and I'm proud of myself because I ate today I'm gonna give her one of these uh, and then try and run out the door so we've got to make sure I've got everything on a time limit. I even put the key in the door and the oven is turned off because I use the oven and I'm stressed out. All right, Lou, go to bed. All right, got to go. I came home to a flooded house. I'd love to see it. Happy fucking Wednesday. I've started to work in the office because I don't want to look at my blimmin' fucking... Oh, is this the dream? Hello. Hi. How are you going? I'm all right, yourself? Oh yeah, good, you know, just cleaned up a flood. Did it? How did it flood? The wash machine thing came loose, the little hose. Oh no. And I was out getting my hair done. Oh no. I know. So I came back, it was flooded everywhere and I knew something was wrong because Luna didn't come and greet me because she doesn't like water. She didn't want to walk through it. I know. Me and mum spent like an hour mopping it and cleaning it. So that's fun. And is it all good now? Yeah, it's fine. I'm just, I'm thankful that like nothing too bad got damaged or wet. But mum said that the washing machine might not work or the dishwasher might not work because it's all, that's all wet. But how ironic is it that I was washing the towels? So I had no towels. Oh. I had no towels to help wash anything up. Oh, wow. So hot, you guys. I'm just about to head out to meet my friends. My friend is moving. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but she's moving to Australia. Australia steals everybody from New Zealand. She is moving there, so we're having like a little goodbye thing for her. Um, So I'm about to head there now. I would have liked to get myself prepared, but having a flooded house definitely put me behind, and then I obviously had to catch up on all the work that I missed for that hour that I was out. It's looking a lot cleaner now in the flood floor is not wet so we love to see it but I'm about to head out so so hot you guys and I have no towels left to even have a shower or anything but I do have some on the line so hopefully by the time I get back uh they will have dried I have no time to change I'm actually already gonna be late so this is just the outfit that I'm going with and I probably will just pop on these slides because like I said I've got no time I need to write a few things down for when I come back because I need to edit this video up until this point so that I'm not stressed out for Monday. And then I am buying my sister Tate McRae tickets to go to her concert in November, which I'm so very excited about. But I want to buy them when I'm in my hometown on my computer so I know that I'm not like mucking it up. I don't want to do it on the go, but I'll print the tickets out when I'm at my work uh, in Christchurch so that I can give them to her for her actual birthday, which I'm so very excited about. I know she's going to love it. Well, I hope she's going to love it. With my brother-in-law, what I'm going to get for my other sister doesn't need to be done until I'm back there's quite a few other things that I want to get done and I need to organize Luna she's my main priority when I get back organizing her and making sure that Lucky's got food as well I'm gonna head off talking too much I'm so hot I'm over today but it's actually been a really really good day work wise when I got back from fixing my house it was so good um, and it went really fast so we love to see it I'm about to head out so I'll talk to you guys later <laughs> I had a really awesome time with the girls I'm so sad 
think she's moving but it felt nice to kind of just relax after the full-on day that I had today but I'm about to be packing because I just sorted all Luna's food out so she has to transition into her new food so I'm sorting them out so she has the right amount for daycare on one day and the right amount for being at my mum's house you know that I'm going oh I'm gonna miss you so much so I've got my iPad I'm actually going to download more books I think because 154 pages I will read that in an hour's plan so makeup and I've got all of my outfits here which I'm so excited about so I've got an airport outfit a Friday outfit Saturday we're doing pole dancing and Michaela wanted us to go in matching colors I've got those and then I have got a just a chill Sunday outfit and bringing an extra dress just in case it gets hot because apparently it's quite hot there but I'm gonna be packing this and I'll check in with you guys soon <music> I've been wanting to get a tight top, but it's like a different type of brown. I don't know. It's like a darker brown. It's very nice. Pretty top. And then I got some of these. So I want to be like the cool kids that I see on YouTube, which we, they wear these. All these Shailene girls. Then I went to Strang Bags and I got myself a little card wallet. Isn't that so adorable? Does it say Aya? Ava. Ava. Oh. Aya? Ava. Ava. I thought it's pretty. Twelve dollars. Bargain if you ask me. Just heading back to Tay's house. So see ya. Okay, look. <laughs> what? I don't think it's that bad. You look like you're about to go on a jog. Yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't look that bad. I actually laughed a lot. I'm gonna live the city life and go get a ice chop. Do you want one? Ciao then. I'm currently walking to go get myself an ice chop. I think I'm going the wrong way. But I wanted some privacy. I love being in Christchurch. It actually feels so good and like so normal to be in Christchurch because she like seeing my friends and my sister. Um, so I'm just excited. Also love what I'm wearing today. Very girl power. Very like my confidence era, which we love to see. I'm gonna get a nice chocolate and then head back to work. I've got a few things to do. Hoping to finish up a little bit earlier today. Just because we've got like this hens thing on. One of the girls in Christchurch campus is getting married. We're throwing her like a little hens party. So I think that's happening at three. I'm excited to be a part of that. How do I get here? Coffee shop I want is all the way over there. I guess I have to walk back because the coffee shop is not this way. Living my best life. Honestly, I'm back here at the end of the month as well. I'm just so excited for everything that's happening. Like, I'm in such a blue space at the moment. Like, I love my life. Just, I'm so grateful. Honestly, it's the best feeling when you're so content with life. Considering if we talked about, like, two, three years ago, I wouldn't want to be here. I didn't want to celebrate my birthday. I didn't want to celebrate anything. I didn't love the life I live. And now, couldn't think of anything better than the life I'm currently living. If I was to do YouTube full time, that would be, like, top tier. But until then, I'm so content with the life. That I'm living, but I'm working towards bigger and better things each and every day. Here's to the weekend in Christchurch. I got a banana smoothie instead. As soon as I saw they did smoothies, I was like, yeah, it's a bit of me. This is really um, not what I expected. Mm. Oh, I like it. Chickens and like, it looks different.
currently the 3rd of February. It is Saturday and I'm getting ready to head to pole dancing for Michaela's birthday, which I'm so nervous but so excited about. I've just had a shower and I'm in my active wear. The one time I come to crochet, the weather is not good. And obviously it's meant to be summer here in New Zealand, so I catered for summer weather. We checked the weather forecast and it's like meant to have thunderstorms and stuff today and it's pissing down for rain. Having a good time and that's the main thing. But I'm just getting ready. I'm just going to put some mascara on so that I look a little more alive. And I can't wait to give him my present. I'm giving her her present tomorrow because her birthday is actually on the 4th. Hopefully I can vlog some. I don't know. I'm a bit scared to be honest. But here for a good time, you know. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. We're going pole dancing. Are you nervous? And we're matching. Well, I got Mickey and you got Minnie. Oh, wait. There's no Mickey. There's two. Oh, wait. Wait, what? <laughs> English? Should I change the battery because it's dying? We're getting picked up by her friend Bev. Bev. Bev, not Bev. Sorry. <laughs> and we're going pop dancing and then we're getting Mexican. <laughs> You're like, well, I got you. I'm nervous. I guess it fits in the theme, doesn't it, Jim? It does, actually. Yeah. Oh, I got tickets! Take my crow. Hey, this is cool. Yeah, I know. Put this out. Yep. It will be so fun. I love her. Pretty first name ever. Yeah, I told Dad that we're not going to his birthday. <laughs> Right, so it's my birthday everyone and we're having apparently empty bagels because uh, where's the filling? Oh, I thought you it was a do-it-yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you brought it to me at the table. Right, now I've got to go get my own. I also got Tate McRae tickets for my birthday and I'm using a knife to sing along. It probably is not that safe, but... listening to some orchestra and waiting for fireworks. Perfect way to end your birthday, I think. I'm here to end the vlog with some fireworks, so enjoy that. Hope you have a good day or night, wherever you may be, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!